Let's take a look at this very common voltage tester. So this is a very simple piece of test equipment. Kind of, it's like a modern equivalent of the neon indicator screwdriver. You touch the probe onto an electrical connection. You've got two ways you can use this. You can use the direct test. I'm just going to zoom down this. I'm quite a bit away here. You can use the direct test where if you touch the end contact, you touch this onto a live electrical connection, it will give a rough indication of the voltage. But you've also got the indirect test. I wonder if I can actually do that here. I've got a Rode wireless microphone charging and I'm guessing this might uh, indicate there. Can you see the uh, little uh, lightning bolt appearing there as I go near it? That's detecting the electrical field. Does it work with the other probe? Not really, it just works with that one. Okay. And these things you think when you see LCD digital tester that it's going to have a classic seven segment dish readout. It does not. It actually has a stack of sets of numbers. It goes 220 volt, 110 volt, 55 volt, 36 volt, 12 volt, and then the little lightning bolt. And the more, the higher the voltage, the more of those will light. So the highest voltage it lights is the one that it is. I'd like to demonstrate that. Just give me a second. I'm going to have to find something to give that a go. Okay, I have dangerously defeated the safety shutter in the socket at the moment just by its uh, sticky in that. It's showing the little lightning bolt. But if I touch, well, let's touch that. You're not supposed to. Oh, that's quite weird. Uh, mm, oh, yeah, it doesn't like that. Does it look at the lightning bolt? It really goes thick when you do that. But if you touch the direct test button, it basically lights all those numbers up. So you can see the 12, 36, 55, 110, 220 all just rammed up against each other. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit shonky, but it does work. Uh, I haven't tested in lower voltages. I don't really have a test uh, power supply to actually do that. So I'm just going to put this uh, extension back down, trying not to destroy the place in the process, and then we shall explore the device. So here's a spudger. The back of it, I'm just going to peel this sticker off, see if there's any screws hidden. I don't think there are. Nope. Okay. No screws. Uh, so it has a little black, well, back plastic plate. I, I say black because they, they do black burst this as well. And if you pop this off, it reveals a little circuit board inside. Okay. Let's get that out. So a couple of screws. I should be down close in this, shouldn't I? For the reveal. Um, then can I spudger this out? Yes. There is a wire there that needs cut. The one that actually solders onto the probe. Oh, that's quite tough. I think that's not good for my schnips at all. So I'll just pop the circuit board out. There is the circuit board uh, with printed resistors. The last one I looked at had uh, little surface mount resistors. Okay, there's the LCD with a zebra strip on it, or a zebra strip if you prefer, that couples the electrical connections from here to, hold on, that bit butted right up against there. So it bridges from this connection up to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven connections, if that is one, because it's got a little resistor on it. Right, tell you what. I'm going to uh, take a vote of the circuit board, expand it up, and then we shall explore further. One moment, please. And resume with a picture of a close-up of the circuit board. I shall zoom down in this. I also found in the packaging the instructions. They're very, very vague in tiniest print possible. Literally the smallest piece of paper that could fit it, have fitted in there. I had to use a magnifying glass to read that. That was just awful. Uh, the electrical contacts, the buttons here, are plated plastic. Uh, I chopped the side off one and it's a sort of black plastic inside with chromium uh, on the surface, a chromium plating for the electrical connection. And that's sized with a sort of like a granular surface so that when the circuit board is put in, these pads press down onto that. Uh, the LCD, there's the zebra strip or zebra strip. Here is the circuit board. It's the bit we're interested in. So they've printed the resistors on, and this is the voltage sensing pad. This is the NCV, non-contact voltage. And uh, the first thing that happens to the voltage is it goes through a long string of resistors. And I thought this was a safety feature. 
but it turns out that it's really probably just to limit the current uh, to the LCD because you don't want to have too much current flowing through these because they are really rated microamps uh, and uh, you could damage them with too much current, I guess. I've never really explored LCD displays, raw displays too much. But it takes uh, very little voltage to make these change state. However, I think this is an optimised one for a higher voltage. Um, this resistive ink has a very high value. I mean, this uh, triple set of pads uh, here, creating a resistor, has a value of 55 mega ohm. And even the shortest one down here, this little one down here, has a value of 6 mega ohm. Um, to get... Uh, lower values of resistors, they've actually got them running in uh, parallel and uh, different lengths. So you've basically got a voltage divider where they've just tapped off along this uh, staggered series of lines. The non-contact voltage is a much shorter resistor. That's the 8 mega ohm resistor that goes straight down to the little lightning bolt uh, connection. And there is a common connection in the pad. Common uh, 220, 110, 55 the odd 36 volts, the 12 volts, and then there's a wee lightning bolt uh, that just displays uh, the presence of voltage. And it seems to just rely on sort of partly capacitive coupling and partly this probe finding a current path through this resistor array, possibly this big long line of resistor here. Let's take a look at the actual circuit diagram for this. It involves lots of very high value resistors. Let's zoom out just a little tiny bit, just so I can actually, well, let the wrong direction, wrong direction, just so I can fit uh, the text in here. So here's LCD. The 55 mega ohm resistor goes to the common, and then there's a potential divider, which uh, is 1.3 mega ohm, 1.5 mega ohm, 1 mega ohm, 3.7 mega ohm, 15 mega ohm, and then from the probe, there's a 6 mega ohm resistor directly to 12 volt. And that gives a clue as to the voltage of the LCD because um, I'm not sure what voltage this will start lighting up at. This is where a stack of volt batteries would be quite handy, but I do not have much stuff here. I'm travelling with work. <clears throat> but uh, the non-contact voltage touchpad just has that 8 mega ohm resistor to the little lightning bolt. So this uh, just acts as a potential divider, and as soon as it reaches the threshold voltage of the uh, LCD, it basically makes that set of numbers light up. Um, I guess ultimately to scale it down, this isn't just a sort of safety resistor, this is also designed to scale the voltage range uh, from 12 volts up to 220 volts or higher uh, into the range of the LCD. Interesting. There's probably a certain amount of experimentation was required at the factory with their LCDs of just basically swapping resistor values and then optimising the design uh, so it could fit onto uh, printed resistors with a specific resistance type ink. Put on a very specific thickness. Quite complicated, really. I guess it must be screen printed on. But that is it. That is what's inside. Well, not anymore. That's what's inside the, uh, the LCD-based uh, voltage indicator. So... That's it. An interesting device. Uh, it looks relatively safe-ish. I mean, the safety will be determined by the uh, probably the shortest path. Actually, you know what? Uh, even the shortest path from the probe to your fingers at the back is this high-value resistor and this one. And the other ones are all through other long paths. Um, so it's probably fairly safe. I can't see any major issues with that. The clearance around here could be a slight issue, but uh, having said that, as long as you don't drop it in water and then use it, it should be absolutely fine. So that's it. The LCD uh, voltage tester.